Okay, welcome back to Property Talk, guys. Scott Bailey back with you here. Is the market cooling? Everyone seems to be asking that. There's a lot of rhetoric in the media around whether the market's cooling or not, and certainly around the town, talking to our clients and just people in the street, it's a big question. Is the market currently cooling? What's happening is the market is getting back to a place which is more normal. So certainly where that new normal place is, is still electrifyingly strong. Like we had two auctions last week, the results were just amazing. So there's plenty of stories within the marketplace which is turning heads, making the property market look extremely buoyant still. But there's just the odd little hole appearing where the odd property is actually a little bit quiet uh, and inquiries down. Open home numbers are a little bit subdued and it's just hit and miss a little bit. So some of the good properties are still attracting strong interest. Some are attracting significantly less than what we've got used to over the last 18 months. So Coming back to normality is uh, more how we would put it, not cooling uh, or sort of um, becoming a buyer's market or anything like that. It's still very frustrating for buyers out there. It's still very competitive, however, getting back to a more normal landscape. The results have been nothing short of outstanding. There's been some residential blocks released for the first time in quite a long time, and they've made between sort of 320 and 360 or 70,000 just for a vacant residential block. So look, it was only a couple of years ago you could buy them for sort of you know, 150, 60, 70, 180,000. So that's a quantum shift in residential vacant land. As I mentioned previously before, some of those rural auctions that we've done, you know, we had an auction a place on the edge of town on 15 acres, make 2 million 120. Those sort of figures are unheard of in our local community. So very exciting for um, property values within the area. Um, what is going to happen next year, 2022? We're only a few weeks away from Christmas now, so Merry Christmas to all of you, and thank you very much for everything you've done for us in 2021. But we're only a doorstep away from Christmas, so what's going to happen in 2022? It's really, really hard to tell, but just bear in mind, everyone's forgotten about the fact there needs to be a federal election sometime between now and May. So what we've found over the years that the, the property market does just get a little bit interesting, two or three months either side of a federal election, people start thinking, what's going to happen, they get a little bit complacent, they start getting uh, uncertain about what the new government, if we get a new government, will do. So that'll come into play. Supply shifting, is, there's actually more properties coming onto the market, so that is changing things a little bit as well. What the banks do in 2022 will also have a big bearing on what the property market does. So interesting space, watch it, because going into January, February, and certainly March and April, things may change. But stay tuned to your monthly property talk and we'll keep you abreast of things the very best we can. But until then, wherever you are on your property journey, we'd love you to do it with Bailey. Thank you.